Alright, hey, what's up, Halo Union? My name is UKillK7. This is Machinima Tips Episode 1. Basically, going to be today talking about cinematography and some of the steps you guys can take to improve your shot compositions. Rule number one, I like to call it zoom the heck in. I would say 99% of machinima makers are using zoomed out shots, which much more simulates a wide angle shot. And Hollywood tends to use these for establishing shots, but you wouldn't use it for all your shots. So if you zoom in, you're getting much more cinematic shots that more closely follows the Hollywood kind of camera angles you would get. So as you can see, I'm zoomed out and eh, it looks okay. But once I zoom in right here, we're getting a much tighter, more intimate shot with the character and it's just much better. All right, rule number two, I like to call the rule of thirds. Imagine a tic-tac-toe grid across your screen. The goal is to align the gliding of the composition with the lines of the rule of thirds. Oftentimes the horizontal lines will be a horizon. Um, the vertical lines may be a character. Uh, once when the lines cross on the top, that might be where you want to keep the eye level. In this shot, you know, we're not following the rule of thirds and it, it looks okay, but it looks like something could be done to make it look better. If, once we move it here, now you can see it's much better much better looking shot, visually appealing. Rule number three, shot continuity. Imagine a 180 degree line. As in theater, you're sitting in the stands and you can only look from one angle towards the action. You can maybe move down a few seats, get a little bit of a different perspective, but you can't go up on stage on the other side of the stage to look at it from the opposite side. In film, you kind of want to follow this. You want to be, you want to establish a 180 degree line and you want to stick to having the camera angles on that side of the line. By establishing the 180 degree rule and keeping shot continuity, you're keeping a much better flow and rhythm to your machinima. All right, rule number four, I like to call too much headroom. It's better to have the shot too low than too high because if you're keeping it lower, you're still gonna have a full shot because you have the body in there. Once you start to raise the camera too high, you're just having empty space, and then you're having an empty shot. You wanna keep it full, so lower that camera. All right, rule number five, and the last rule for today is three-dimensional angles. Notice this shot we're shooting flat on, and it's a pretty flat shot. If you're on the character and from a three-dimensional angle, then you're creating a diagonal plane, and it's going from a two-dimensional to a three-dimensional shot. Alright guys, this has been Machinima Tip number one. My name is Ukill Kenny7. We're gonna be having more coming up very soon, so please click the subscribe button.